Hi guys, so today I'm going to go through my entire eyeshadow palette collection from beginning to end. I'm not going to be too thorough on this, just going to show a few of the colors that I like. If I, I'm going to talk about if I like the palette and just kind of showcasing the palette from beginning to end. Not really anything thorough here, just showcasing my collection. So um, I just want to start out by saying that I'm not trying to brag. And uh, I just like, I personally like watching collection videos and they're just fun for me to watch and to see and look back on what I have. And so when I declutter, I can do it easier. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So the first palette that I have is the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop. This palette is a mixture of purples and pinks. And I do like the formula in this palette, ColourPop can be a bit inconsistent with their formula, but I will say that I really do like this shade and it is unfortunate that this one in Mr. Sandman fell out, so I don't have that one anymore. But um, yeah, I like this palette. I think it's interesting how there's like a random purple here and there's like a little brown here, but um, it's basically a pink and purple palette and it is good quality. Next we have the Early Bird palette by uh, Pretty Vulgar. So this palette is limited, uh, not limited, it is actually being discontinued. So I picked it up at Marshalls. So you can get it right now at a really cheap price if you find it. Um, it has really beautiful packaging and it is cool toned. So up here we have two mattes and a shimmer. This is a matte pink. On the bottom we have also two mattes, a matte purple and a matte brown and a shimmery brown. We have two satin shades right here. And then we have two mattes in the middle, one beige matte, one a little purplish matte, and uh, my favorite shade is actually this beautiful shimmer shade. So this is a cool tone palette, and it is really cute, but I will say it is a little bit chalky. Next, we have the All Things Equinox palette by ColourPop. This palette is a little bit similar to the It's My Pleasure palette. We have four shimmers and we have four shimmers and we have three mattes. This one is a, it's not a glitter, but it's not a shimmer either. It's more of like a satin. Uh, I haven't really played with this palette too much. I believe the formula is pretty standard for ColourPop. Um, I do like this matte shade right here, and I do like this um, duochrome shade right here. I will say that it's nothing really out of the box here, so I will probably declutter this in my next declutter. Um, but I do like the pink packaging and all things Equinox. Next, we have the Miss Bliss pa palette by ColourPop. Really cute. Another ColourPop palette is the Baby Got Peach palette. This one fell out. Then we have the Nude Mood palette by ColourPop. We have a Perfusion palette in Ultra Cool. You can pick these up at Target, I believe, and I know that they sell them at Walmart and TJ Maxx.
my other perfusion palette is in temptress more colorful I have another ColourPop palette in So Jaded. This is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. We have a Juvia's Place palette in the shade The Deuce. I mean, the palette name is The Deuce. Gorgeous. We have a Huda Beauty palette in Desert Dusk. This is the remastered version. We have a Glam Light palette, which I purchased this Black Friday, which I have been loving. So pretty. I've been really getting into indie brands, so if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below. What are your favorites? Because I've been really loving indie brand makeup. We have the Lunar Beauty Palette in Strawberry Dream. So pretty. We have the Lunar Beauty Palette in Life's a Drag. does come with a brush as well that is that good quality but it has fallen out and it's now in my brush area another lunar beauty palette is the uh, eternal eclipse this is the newest palette by him really love it We've got the Norvina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is something, this one I thought I was going to play with a lot more than I have. It's basically untouched. We have the Athena palette by Dito. This is a indie brand. We have the Greek Goddess Palette by Lunar Beauty. Really impressed by his packaging and formula. I just love this brand. We have the we have a, the only Lorac palette I have, which is the Lorac Pro Three. We have the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. Which I have been getting a lot of use of lately. We have the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. We have the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb Palette.
we have the Midas Cosmetics High Times Palette. And also, this is the Amrezy by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So this shade did fall out twice. Great mattes in this palette and beautiful packaging. We have the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette. This is their newest palette. And we have the Honest Beauty eyeshadow palette. Moving on, we have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Orgy Palette. This is an all matte palette. His newest eyeshadow palette as well. We have the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette, which is his cool tone, whoa, just hit myself in the face. His cool tone palette. Gorgeous. We have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, one of my favorites. I don't have the first one anymore, but I used to use the first one on brides. We have the Jeffree Star, uh, Dro Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I love using this shade as a contour as well. We have the ColourPop in a Trance palette. This one fell out. Cute. We have the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection palette. Unfortunately, this one broke as well. I'm seeing a little theme here. This is actually all of their most popular shades in one palette. Love it. We have the Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette, which was limited edition. We have the Morphe 25A in Copper Spice. We have the Morphe X Mani MUA Glam Palette. So the rest of these are Morphe. So this is Morphe uh, Make and Bank Palette. I do like to collect Morphe palettes. And this is their 35C Everyday Chic Palette. And the last palette that I have in my collection is the Morphe 39 as such a gem palette. Thank you guys for watching and if you made it through, please like and subscribe and leave a comment which palette is your favorite. Um, love you guys and um, I hope that you guys are staying safe. And um, yeah, please like and subscribe. I'm really having fun making these videos and it means the world to me to get a comment and I will definitely respond. And I love to have dialogue on here. So I love you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate it. Uh, love you, bye.